Hey, welcome back. I'm Chris, and today, well, we're gonna keep playing with this audio stuff that I'm trying to figure out. So let's do this real quick. I know it looks like a mess in here because it is because, well, I'm scavenging parts from old boards that I've kept from VCRs and whatever else that was gonna be thrown out. And it's like, oh, well, there's some components on there I might need one day, today being that day. Now, I was mainly looking for resistors because you can make, uh, I'm just gonna call it a 3.5 millimeter audio jack attenuator. I don't know if that's what it's called, but it's, it's what it is. What it's gonna do is when you plug a microphone into it, this is a mono microphone, so this is a little bit different. Uh, that was part of the other problem. But when you plug a microphone into it, it's gonna take that track split it into two channels, left and right. It's gonna be the same on both, but one track is gonna be significantly lower in decibel levels. So say the decibel level of the right track is at negative 12 dB. The other track is gonna be significantly lower depending on what resistors you use. It could be like negative 20, negative 25, negative 30 negative 18 dB, something like that. Something significantly lower than the other track so that you allow yourself a safety room, you have enough headroom, so that if the volume of whatever you're filming gets really loud and that volume peaks, you can jump over to the other track to where that volume hasn't peaked. And just so you know, if the volume peaks on your audio, the audio gets distorted, there's no way to recover it. But if the volume we just want that safety track so when you get loud or when somebody else gets loud i can recover that audio and it doesn't it's not going to blow your eardrums out it's not going to peak it's not going to distort it's it's going to be at a safe level to where well you can still understand what's going on that's the whole thing that's what i'm trying to make i made it i made it work with stereo but i need to make it work with mono you see this microphone is mono only and yes, I could just change the plug end, but I don't really want to do that because I don't want to destroy this microphone. And yes, the microphone that I'm currently using is technically mono, split into stereo with a stereo jack, male jack at the end. So yeah, uh, let me show you what I got going on here. So I got the 3.5 stereo male end and that's all wired up to the 3.5 stereo female end, and then with the appropriate resistors and such. Now, there is a way to figure this out where you take, if you know the specs of your microphone, I do not know what the specs of this microphone is, I don't know who makes it, or anything like that, but I'm guessing. You take the impedance and you times that by the voltage of the microphone. I know this microphone is 1.5 because it has a AA battery in it. I don't know what the impedance is on it. But just the same, you times that and that gives you two resistor values that you need and uh, it, it's it's pretty close. Pretty close, hopefully it works, put it that way. The only thing that's gonna change is if you plug a different microphone in there, you may not get the separation and levels like you, you want. So you gotta be careful, but just the same. I'm using this for specifically this microphone, specifically the Rode microphone, and as long as it works with those two, I'm happy should work with the other ones too. That's part of testing and making these. And you can make a couple of them specific for each microphone if you want it. So I have that all wired up and then I have this little mono, 3.5 millimeter mono female jack so that I can plug this microphone into here and then I'm just testing out wiring it up to that. So I have one mono jack and one stereo jack all going through the attenuator, all coming out to another male stereo jack that you can plug right into the camera and we should be good to go to have a safety jack. Yeah, I know, I know. It's it's not as complicated as you'd think. It's actually pretty straightforward, pretty easy. We just need like a diagram or something like that. Now this should give you about negative 18, negative 20 on the right channel. And then your left channel is gonna be whatever you set the whole input of the microphone at. So pretty much normal on the left, attenuated on the right. And if for some reason it's reversed, it's no big deal. You can just leave it like that. As long as one channel is higher than the other, you're pretty much all set and ready to go. Now with this all wired up, the left channel is pretty much gonna be your normal microphone level, and then the right channel is gonna be the one that's attenuated. Now let's go ahead and 
connect everything here and we can kind of test it out. And you can see how I have it wired up differently. No. Now you can see I have it wired up backwards, don't I? The right track is pretty much normal level. The left track is the one that's attenuated. And that's fine. As long as the levels are moving differently, you should be pretty much good to go. You don't have to worry because that's what you want. You want one level a little bit quieter, so it's your safety track. And we can plug in a stereo microphone to this one, and it's the same thing. You know, it's going to split the track, and one's going to be attenuated, and the other one's not going to be attenuated. And that's exactly what we want. Now, playing with the resistor values a little bit is going to give you different levels of attenuation and such like that. So I've done way too much rambling today, and I, I think we're pretty much done here for today. So I'll see you on the next one. I'll just be happy when all this is cleaned up, and I'm not, like, mad scientisting it. Is that a word? Whatever. You know what I mean. It's a mess in here. I need it cleaned up. This is bugging me. But I want to get this done. I want to fix it. Not fix it. I want to make it. So, yeah. I'll see you on the next one. Wait, 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 I keep forgetting. If you're new here, well, I welcome you and definitely consider subscribing. There's definitely a lot of videos to watch from how-tos, DIYs, uh, photo tips and tricks, uh, two seasons of vlogs at the moment, plus a whole bunch of other videos that I made before all that. There's a lot to binge on. So I'll see you on the next one.